Hello everyone. Uh, welcome to another video. So here what I will do is that in this video I will show you how to use the Quarters Prime Light Edition, Intel Quarters Prime Light Edition uh, software to simulate a HDL model. Right? So let me open the tool. So this is the software interface. So you can see that there is a new project wizard. You can click over here or you can also click from the left side. You can go to the file. You can create a new project wizard. So this is the first step you have to do. So let me click this thing and it will take some time to open the setup. So new project wizard. So I will first click the next. Then I have to choose a location of my project. Right. So I will browse through the location where I have created the CAD lab folder. So this is my location CAD lab. Then I will create a folder name, the project folder name. Suppose uh, uh, now I want to design a counter, simple counter, up counter. Okay. Now this up counter, uh, select the folder. Select the folder counter. So this will be my project di working directory for this project. This cat G, then cat lab, then slash counter. Right now, what is the name of the project? So project name and the top level entity name should be the same usually. Okay. So so let me write the counter. This is also counter. So fine, fine, fine. Now I will click next. Then you can create an empty project or a project template. So I will here create it in empty project. I don't need a project template. Okay. So just create an empty project. So then after that, the next step is um, add files. So nothing you need to add over here right now you can just go there and it will create uh, come to the family device in both settings so it is a software for FPGA um, programming right so obviously it will show the device settings so here by default I have this device installed the device file has been installed for max 10 so I, I, we don't bother about that because we are going to do the behavioral simulation so by default whatever device it will show you can you can just uh, it is fine uh, with that settings otherwise you can select any device if you really want to do the synthesis on the FPGA board but right now it is fine if I have the max 10 uh, device family that is it's a uh, one, one type of FPGA device chip so, uh, so that is uh, fine so click next then I have to choose the EDA tools means okay so design entry so synthesis tool and the simulation tool so anyway we are going to do the simulation we are not bothered about the synthesis right now so you can just click on the simulation part okay just you click on the model simultera simulations then the format language format is HDSDL this is fine EDA tool settings then create and then click next Okay, now you can click the, the finish button. Now it will take some time to create the project folder and all the other settings. So please wait for that. Okay, <coughs> okay. now this project uh, folder has been created. You can go over here. Now here you can see this is a project navigator with the hierarchy and now click on files. Okay, now click on files in this project uh, navigator. Then I want to create two files. One is the module file and another file is the, uh, the, the 
test bench file, right? The module file and the, the entity, uh, the top level module file or top level entity file and test bench file. This first I will create the, sorry, first I will create the PSDL. So I will click on new, then uh, clear, just create the VSDL file. So VSDL file is click on OK. So it will create a VSDL editor. Okay, just a editor, file editor. It will open. I can open this and I have to write the code here. My VSDL code or my HDL model. So since I have already, you can write the code here, no problem, but already I have written this code. I will just copy paste it from that file. So this is the, let's copy paste it into this editor. I hope it is all right. And then I have to save this thing. So click the save button and just the uh, same name counter based file so save okay so it has created in the file you can see now there is a file with counter dot based in my project uh, navigator file so this file is there right now i have to create another file the test bench file so i will create another and click on new and then i will create another vsdl file okay so click okay now another editor comes another file comes and i have to write the test bench file so i have already written it so i'll just copy and paste it the test bench file of the counter okay test bench code of the counter the code for the test bench code so here you can observe that i have written the code so in the in the, uh, the all the things is quite same this so there are two inputs clock and reset and the signal count is there right and uh, output signal that is so i have to create process like uh, if i want to write the, my stimulus using the sequential uh, code then the sequential statement, then I have to write process, right? So this is a clock process. Okay, this is a clock process written. This is a sequential code. Obviously, I can write this thing. Uh, so you can write this thing. So here you can see that this clock period has been declared as a constant. There is 10 nanoseconds. So that's why, um, uh, so that's why I wait for clock period. So in the begin, there is a clock that is equal to 0, then wait for clock period by 2, then clock equal to 1, wait for clock period 2, and this clock period is a constant that has been declared in the, the declaration part of the architecture, okay. Now, this things can, and another process is there for the reset signal, so reset was initial, now you, you can see that initially this clock and reset was started with 0. Okay, so yeah, we here we have initialized this clock and reset. Now then what we have done, now then uh, where, uh, we have written this process. Now this, after this res reset condition was hold for 100 nanoseconds, right? So after that, the reset set to zero and then we have written a wait statement for uh, to, um, uh, to sub, uh, to suspend this process, right? So this is required for for first to stop the simulation um, to stop the simulation for a particular time. Otherwise, this process will uh, just it will uh, it will be in a loop and it will be ex it will be executed uh, infinitely, right? So this is, this is a convention that you know that we have to write in. Wait, if I if I give my stimulus uh, for uh, for the clock process, you don't need to write that weight because anyway, it will it will repeat again and again, and uh, and this this can be actually this 
simulation time can be actually provided through the simulator settings right you can give the simulation time we'll see that anyway if you if you give any kind of a uh, stimulus like uh, not clock but any other stimulus and it is better to write a wait statement at the end of this process so that these things don't uh, don't don't uh, repeat same means infinitely means it should not be it uh, iterate over a infinite time right so that that should be taken care of okay it's convention okay otherwise it will goes on uh, repeating so anyway this thing this clock process can be also or any this process also the stimulus process for this reset signal this is can this can be also um you can write a simple for this suppose for this clock process you can write a simple statement a, a concurrent statement on right you can write it is using i can make it a comment so i can put it a comment also and i can also write it a uh, simple statement like clock is equal to not clock and that will be after clock period by 2 so instead of writing this process i can also write a single statement like a clock is assigned to not clock after clock period by 2 that means clock will become will be assigned to not clock after clock period by 2 right so this will keep on repeating okay so this thing you can also write so instead of writing this clock process you can write it by using a single concurrent statement okay that's not a big deal now <coughs> similarly the uh, reset stimulus process for the reset that can be also uh, replaced by a concurrent code now i hope you understand these things how to write this thing anyway i have to save this thing so let me click on the save button and then i will just save it as counter underscore tv dot gazed right save it fine done next step is just go over here in the um, top just go over here in the top you can see there is a section called tools and goes to this tools and click on this options okay clicks the uh, tools and then options go over there tools and options and then check this eda tool options now if you install the your intel quarters prime uh, software and then it will be by default you can see that there will be a model sim alter uh, eda tool model sim alter simulation uh, simulator um, settings their path location the directory of the um, its model sim alter model sim execution executable file location is will be give, will be there by default in this location if it is not there then what you have to do you have to manually have to choose the path and you have to put it over there okay so this is a by default path of the model sim altera where it has been installed and this is the path for the execute executable file right so when we run the simulations this this model sim execution file actually it's not a file it's a location so in this location that uh, that model sim Um, simulator executable file will be executed and uh, you can see the uh, you, you can see the um, uh, tools uh, running right so that's it so you, you have to check you have to cross check this thing for the first time that whether it is there or not the locations okay so usually it should be there if it if it is installed properly otherwise you have to put it um, manually okay this model sim alter a uh, path okay idiot then okay after that <coughs> now go to the assignments okay now go to the assignments 
Now, before that, you can also click over here there that set this press on this counter. You can, there are two modules. Now, in the files, there are two modules. Within my project navigator files, there are two modules, two VSDL files are there counter.vsd, counter underscore tv.vsd. Just click on this counter.vsd and you can declare it as the top level entity. Okay. Uh, it may be understood by the tool by default if there is uh, only one. Uh, okay, uh, one one uh, top level entity, but you can explicitly also mention that this is my top level entity. Now after that, go to these assignments, go to these settings, uh, which is under assignments. Click on this. After that, uh, you just go to this, uh, this tool name is Model Simulator. Fine, then compile the test bench. Click on this compile the test bench. Select the test bench. Okay, click on new. Write the test bench name that is counter underscore TV. Then there is a settings called simulation period. So you can give a simulation time. Then uh, there are two two options are the run simulation until all vector stimulation stimuli are used, or you can provide a time. So I can provide it one time, let's say thousand nanoseconds. So select thousand nanoseconds. Okay. Or otherwise you can go with the first option. Okay. So I have select. I have just given this in simulation at thousand nanoseconds. Okay. It's up to you now. Go to this file name options, press over here this locations triple dot uh, button and then it will have to select the file from the your project project directory. So just select counter underscore tv dot vst. Okay, so I have just I selected this counter underscore tv dot vst and then open and then add and then select this file name and okay and then okay now this is the existing test bench settings counter tv okay fine now <coughs> okay now again press okay okay now press apply okay there is okay done then let's see now what I have to do, I have to go over there. There are different options in the in the in the in the bottom portion of this task. So you can see there are different options: compilation, full design, gate level simulation, RTL simulation. Just select RTL simulation right now, and and do the analysis and. Uh, elevation and just click on this RTL simulation. So if I click on this RTL simulations, first it the analysis and elevation will be done and then the RTL simulation will start. Okay, it will take some time. Uh, okay, so I am just it will take some time. Now this uh, tool has been model sim simulator has been started. Now we can observe that there will be two new windows will be created. One window will show you the the signal names and all those things, and another window will show you the waveforms. Okay, so I will just make it large. And I will zoom it. Okay, now you can observe the. So you can see that this is my simulation results. So clock reset count. Now this reset is state was there up to 100 nanoseconds. So up to 100 nanoseconds the reset state was there. Okay, so almost at this 100 nanoseconds. And then what is Mm, uh, not yes, 
is up to the 100 nanosecond the resist state was there okay and then the counting start from the next clock cycle right so it is 0000, 000, 000, 000 at at time and then the counting start now you can observe that this is my so it becomes the counter state becomes 001 then in each clock cycle at the positive edge the the clock has been and the, the, the count state has been increased one by one okay so one two three four five six like this right so this is how we can see the mm, uh, we can we can do the behavioral simulation using the uh, intel quartz light to uh, light edition tool and you can observe the uh, behavior is on the on the model simulator uh, simulator it is integrated with this tool so that's why we are able to use this model sim or terra simulation tool right uh, unfortunately this is not right now available as a standalone uh, tool that's why we have to install this uh, version of this intel tool and this is how we can you can observe the RTL behavior. Okay, so that's all. And if you have any doubts, then please ask me in the next class. Okay, thank you.